Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? I am Rebecca Nichols. This is my podcast, Royal Treats. I'm bringing you all the goodies, all the royalties, all the nuggets. Golden, yes. And today we're talking a little bit more about our birth struggles. And you will know that I've been sharing with you for a while now about Reiki and chakras and energy and if you're part of my free course and you'll be listening to this and if you're part of my pay program you'll be listening to this and you'll be understanding a little bit more about who you are why you are the way you are what things you say about yourself your birth stories your birth struggles how you came into this world and what it all means I hope you're getting a bigger picture of it all. I've been studying and working on this for three years now. And first of all, I had to work on it for myself, more importantly, because I had to clear my energy. I had to clear the things and thoughts that I said about myself. I had to rewrite a different story for my life because I always told myself that I wasn't going to amount to much. That's what I believed. I was born into about three or four birth struggles. And so therefore, I just assumed that, you know, the things I said about myself were true and that my life was just going to be a struggle after a struggle after a struggle after a struggle. And it was very difficult to me to shift that paradigm, to raise my consciousness. But eventually, you know, with work, with the right people, with the right coaches, and I'm so grateful for all the people that have coached me over the years to make me the person I am today. And for you guys to be here to be listening and to be present and to take it on board that to know that anything's possible for you if I've been able to clear what I've cleared and and dealt with depression and anxiety then my darling child (laughs) boy or girl king or queen whoever you may be I just want you to know there is an amazing possibility for your life you can rewrite the script for your life you can create a new story it doesn't have to be about struggle and pain anymore and I mean that with all sincerity if you're hearing this I want you to know maybe things have been tough for you you might have gone through pain you might not felt worthy and you might not feel that you belong or that life has a purpose for you or God has abandoned you I just want you to know that actually I felt all those things and until I connected to myself I was never going to be able to be free from those struggles so today I really want you to connect yourself find a quiet space lie down and hear my voice and understand that I am sending love and light to you and peace to you and that it's possible for you to move forward from the pain that you've endured throughout your life life is pretty long it's not so short there's a chance and opportunity to start again use each day to start again if I say every day is a new day to start again and I love that don't you don't you just love the fact that there's this possibility for us to start again each day so yes without further ado let's move on the struggle we are dealing with today and I'm going to talk about is if you were born transverse breach or posterior so that means you were the wrong way round you sideways were you upside down you know posterior it's my son was breached so we had to have a cesarean with him so there's things that you might tell about say about yourself there's things that you will tell yourself things like I um I'm doing things wrong I'm going in the wrong direction in my life I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction and that makes sense because you were kind of going in the wrong direction you were born into some kind of struggle there and you were in your mother's womb and you were going in the wrong direction so you kind of feel that way in life you might be afraid to meet new people you might be afraid to show up to be yourself to feel authentic you might feel a bit you might be a bit more introvert you know I've struggled with intro, introvert having that sort of introvert thing for a very while a long time very long time and there's, there's moments of introvert that still come out in me but I feel more, far more confident with people these days than I've ever felt in my life and that's taken me some 20 odd years <laughs> so there's hope there's hope so if you're introvert and you find that Um, connecting with people was quite difficult for you just know that you know eventually you'll find the time to connect with people properly and to have your story be heard and to connect with people who are your tribe and I've got a great tribe of people that I connect with on a daily basis on my social media platforms 
and I'm so grateful for them I'm grateful for you all that you take time out of your day to message me to write to me to send me emails and you know I'm grateful for it and if I can't get back to you it just means I'm super super busy doing what I need to do and I don't think I haven't don't see you I don't think I don't listen or watch or whatever I I take it all on board and I'm so grateful for you all for being present to me and to what I'm doing because I believe that I can make a difference to people's lives and that's what I want to do more importantly I think why not when you get this information and you run with this knowledge it is powerful um you might tell yourself that you don't want to come out that you're trying to get out (laughs) but I just I can't get out do you feel that you're like you're stuck yeah that you're trying to make it but it's just not happening do you feel like you're punishing yourself one way or another do you feel like you're in the wrong career or you're going backwards you just everything feels a bit out of sync do you feel like beginnings are difficult for you because you know yeah, beginnings are difficult because if you were bo- if you're born and the beginning was difficult then you'll find that all beginnings are difficult you'll associate that trauma with every relationship in your life and you won't like completion completion is not great for you you deal the the whole dealing with the completion thing is a problem for you yeah completion doesn't work you don't like to complete on things or you struggle to complete on things so actually getting through this course for you might be the only thing you've ever completed in your life true true story I'll, I'll share with you a little story about me I did some various courses over the over the years to become the woman I am today and I went through several courses really intense programs where it's sort of 180 people in a room and we're all sharing we're all opening up we're all talking about birth struggles we're all talking about and being here and what it means and letting go and acceptance and clearing and new affirmations and various different things and the guy sat in the room the guy who was teaching the course um and said exactly the same thing what i'm saying to you now he said some of you are sitting in this room this is the only thing you ever completed in your life properly completed that had value to your life has meant something that's got you somewhere that's going to make a difference and this program is going to make a difference to you, whether you're on the paid program, whether you're all working through the literature on your self-study courses, whether you're just listening to the podcasts. It is going to make a difference to you if you're going to be willing to show up and listen to this and watch the content I'm putting out or, or t- attend the live videos or just get it. When you get it, it's it's life changing. It's life changing because it, I mean I know it's life changing because it's changed my life, and this is the very reason why I do what I do. It's because I want everyone to get it. I want everyone to get it. So you might feel something's wrong with you, um, and I I I totally get that. I felt something was wrong with me for a very very long time. I used to say in every relationship that failed, "What's wrong with me?" <laughs> what's wrong with me why can't I get it right why can't I just get someone to love me why can't I just stay in a relationship why can't I make this work why why can't why can't I stay in a job more than a year why can't I do that why am I always changing why am I making two steps forward and four steps back why am I doing this what is going on with me I was so frustrated I was just stuck a lot of the time so when I discovered Reiki it really did open my eyes to a new possibility for my life and this is why I said I share and I do what I do I I want you guys to get this because I want you to know what direction you're going in I want you to feel focused I want you to know that you are aligned you can be aligned I want you to not be terrified of your life or others or people trying to help you I want you not to back out when things get a bit too much or it gets too close to comfort I don't want you to squirm your way out of relationships or jobs or situations because it's too much for you to deal with or you feel like it's too much you might feel you cause pain and you might feel that you hurt others you might feel that you pick hurt partners that you want to be hurt or they want to hurt you you worry about hurting people you worry about hurting yourself I get it I get it you know 
I get every little bit of it. So there is purpose, there is purpose. And I think, you know, it's safe to say that we all want to live this life with passion and purpose and feel ease and grace in our everyday living. I think it's safe to say we all want to have peace in our hearts and joy in our hearts and happiness. I think we all want that as humans. This is a human thing. You know, this is where we can be connected. You know, there's no right or wrong. There's perspective. But I think we can all come together and understand that we all have more in common than we don't. And that's true. We all have so much more in common in terms of what we want from life and what we expect from life and what we give to life. And someone said this to me a couple of years ago and I kind of like always keep it in my mind every single day when I'm thinking about it. And I only live in each day. Each day is enough for me. I have a plan for my days, of course, when it comes to work. I have people help me and manage me in terms of, of what I need to do and coach me. I have some a great coach who supports me in my business. Um, I have other energy masters who help me and encourage me to be the best version of myself so that I can help encourage you to be the best versions of yourself. You know, I know that I need a coach. Every coach needs a coach. Oprah Winfrey has six coaches. Yeah, I'm working my way up to that. <laughs> but she's a, she's an empire, you know, and I'm building my empire with Queen of My Life and with Nirvana. I am building this this empire so that I could serve people in the most possible way, but also just about legacy. For me, legacy is literally about leaving my footprint, not just on the earth, but on, in, in people's hearts, in people's lives. You know, I want to be that person for people. I want to show up in people's lives in the best way possible because I know what it means to struggle and to go through pain. I mean, 20 years of darkness and I keep going on about it, but to go through that long time and suicidal thoughts, anxiety, depression, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, sex addictions you name it you know I was addicted to anything that could make me feel high and escape the reality that I was in I wanted to escape because I didn't want to have to deal with this reality it was too much life was too much life was too much life was too hard so I want you to know that I get it in the in the, in the most loving way I get it so that's why I want to encourage you there's nothing that's not possible nothing that's not possible for your life if I know that I, I can do it, you can do it. And, you know, I'm, everyone says, oh, you're so strong, Rebecca. You're so strong-minded. I'm like, yeah, I had to become this person. I had to become this person. And also, it's not just for me. It's for every person that follows me, every every, every follower, every every client, every student, every <laughs> every member, every, you know, every everyone that I help on, on my journey. I have to be strong, not just for me, but for them because I, I think, you know, life was going to throw some crap at us at some point. So we need to be able to willing to deal with it. And I want you to know it's it's safe here. You are safe. The root chakra's voice is, I am here, I am safe and I belong. So I want you to feel that, I really do. And I want you to feel that you are always going in the right direction. I want you to experience that you're going in the right direction, even if it feels that like you're not going in the right direction, because you are always manifesting what is your highest good. Whether you are aware of it or you're not aware of it, this is as always what's going to be happening to you. So go, grow through what you go through in life. And that's power. That's total power there. Okay, well, I'm going to crack on and get off because I only get 15 minutes of this podcast and I actually think that they actually are long enough because I don't want to bombard you with so much information and I always believe someone's got 15 minutes of their time to listen and to make the most of their lives with um, the information that I'm putting out to you. So wherever you may be in the world, I wish you a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening and I send you lots of love and light to your heart may infinite possibilities be with you. Lots of love.